Frank James, the outlaw, loved poetry. And I'm holding in my hand his uh, book of Shakespeare. Um, and he's, uh, he's noted in it several poems that he liked. Uh, one of this, one of them is from uh, Romeo and Juliet. But he's, uh, he's circled it and uh, he's put the date August 28, 1876. That's just a few days before the gang was uh, broke up, shot to pieces at uh, the Northfield Raid, which was September 7th, a week later. Uh, it's been said that uh, Frank James sometimes quoted Shakespeare in uh, places that his brother Jesse didn't, didn't uh, really uh, like. And at one point, Jesse told him, uh, uh, one of the gang members reported, uh, to shut up, Frank, and don't read any more Shakespeare. And when Frank continued to read a favorite poem, Jesse pulled a gun on his brother and uh, got him to, to stop reading Shakespeare. At any rate, that's... Uh, um, and years later, uh, Frank ended up in prison uh, after the Northfield raid for a number of years. Um, eventually, he was, uh, he was let out, but he did spend a little time there. And while he was there, he wrote this letter uh, to his uh, wife while he was incarcerated. He signed it with his hideout name, which is Ben, which is interesting, um, Ben Woodson. Um, and this is what he wrote. I miss you very much, but I must make the very make uh, everything uh, the best, knowing and feeling that it is best for you to be with dear little Robbie, their son. He is now at an age that he needs a mother's constant care. It behooves you to spare no pains in teaching him everything that is pure, good, and noble. I think that with the proper training, there is no doubt, but he will make a man, should he live, that we in the evening of life uh, will be more than proud of. At any rate, uh, sounds like any father doting on their son, but he's a... Frank James is in prison.